हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माय इंग्लिश क्लास ऑफ ग्रेड टेन स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज क्लास यू आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व ऑल द एक्सरसाइज ऑफ रीडिंग पार्ट फ्रॉम यूनिट नंबर सिक्सटीन वॉल्ड डिजनी एंड एग्जाम्पल एंड स्ट्रगल एंड एग्जाम्पल ऑफ स्ट्रगल एंड सक्सेस वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड इट्स टेक्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियो नाउ इट्स टाइम टू सॉल्व इट्स एक्सरसाइज सोल्यूशन हेयर इन टूडेज क्लास वी स्टार्ट विद एक्सरसाइज नंबर फर्स्ट हेयर I use the correct words phrases given below the complete sentences so here are some words given students uh, you just have to select one right word from here and just you have to fill in the blank given below the first one is akishan akishan had to sell his house to keep his business afloat you know afloat means uh, to clear debt debt you know uh, he was accused of that at the robbery of the bank is plotting scientists are trying to harness the sun's ray as a new source of energy the d number many companies went bankrupt during the economic depression the word bankrupt we have talked about talked in the text already students are full of uh, you know we can say debt the company the person or company may be in debt that is called bankrupt and the e number is courage it's a uh, words was ness are the key to the success in life to so here number f the government has mounting pressure from the public to withdraw the bill after his graduation he worked as a or an it's a apprentice electrician in a company and h number the government spend a colossal amount of money on the renovation uh, renovation of the historical buildings Kathy was brought up by an unkind, it's a domineering, okay, stepmother. The last one, Patrick took solace in the company of his mates. The next one is B number. Find the meaning of the following phrases, idioms, ah, uh, from the dictionary and use them in sentences your own. So these are some phrases or idioms here are here given students. Ah, uh, you are given some of the idioms and phrases. you have you have to use these idioms phrases in your sentences uh make and meet means manage to survive so i have made a sentence here in spite of the poverty he managed to make and meet his family the b number silver lining is hopeful aspect it's meaning hopeful aspect the even though he failed in the business there is one silver thinning lining tapped a nervous breakdown is a mental collapse mental problem uh, too much of the work load may be in nervous breakdown drop out to give up he shouldn't drop out the task before it finishes kick in the teeth means disappointment it really become a kick in the teeth for us even doing well in the match set off proceed or move they have started a new set off towards their business Our uh, students is all about exercise number B. Now I take you to exercise number C. The C number exercise is uh, the following sentences represent some events in uh, Disney life. Study and rewrite them in the chronological order. Uh, some sentences are given here uh, A, B, C, D up to G number. Uh, you just need to put these sentences in the chronological order the first one is a okay it's a disney left home and went to find you know uh, walk as an ambulance driver so one number would be okay g number is the one and similarly b number is he returned uh, to chicago chicago it's uh, here is uh, yes c number okay c number is b and uh, similarly c number it's a uh, three number is the cartoon company collapsed it's a e number and number 4 is number 4 is here is uh, he created his character again it's a d number and number 5 is uh, disney suffered several mental problem yes uh, here is uh, number 5 it's f number and uh, then number 6 is he shifted his focus home for his big big screen to television show again uh, here is the answer he focused uh, he shifted his focus and here is the answer 
a number he shifted the focus and finally g number it's a seven number he successfully founded the famous disneyland so this is the uh, chronological order of these sentences and now move to its uh, question and answer the students here are some questions given that you have to answer and i have uh, written the answer of all these question have a look at the answers of this question these are the answer of all the question students you can write from here as uh, as i'm not going to read out all the answers here and uh, you just need to look and you just need to write from here and with that i move to next exercise the next one is e number who has inspired you significantly in your life share her or his life story to class uh, students uh, you have to write about uh, the inspiration story of someone who inspired you very much and then you have to share in your class okay now yeah, i have written the answer of e number have a look at this one so here i have uh, students here i have written uh, inspiration and uh, inspiring inspiration story about uh, binod choudhury is the business tycoon of nepal our country and uh, he's a entrepreneur uh, you know young uh, very rich person of nepal also and a great uh, entrepreneur of uh, our country and i have written about uh, a few words uh, about him and uh, this is this person that really made me inspired and i am really inspired by him because of his struggle his uh, technique of doing business and all so it's all about e number students so now i take you to the next one okay next is we have speaking part uh, in speaking part we have uh, a conversation a uh, study the conversation conversation between asha and bhanu and uh, let's do that and asha let me share your my good news uh, bhanu okay what is it uh, asha i got a scholarship for my further studies bhanu many congratulations to you asha thank you for much in this conversation there is a conversation about congratulating so in this speaking part we are going to talk about the congratulation how to congratulate and uh, we are going to do the exercise first so have a look at the exercise so here is the exercise a walk in peer congratulate people in situation so in this, in uh, some kind of situation how we have to congratulate people use the given expression so some of the expressions are given here uh, that you have to use and you have to congratulate by using this expression and uh, here congratulation you deserve this success congratulation on your hard work my sincere hearted warmest congratulation to you so these are some expression that you can which you can use while uh, congratulating others the first uh, situation is given here and uh, here is first situation your friend got a gp of 4.0 zero in the final in the first terminal exam so this is a situation then uh, you have to congratulate your friend uh, by using one of one of the uh, you know expression given here so i have written all the answer of uh, these uh, this exercise have a look at the answer first the first one is uh, your friend got a gp of 4.0 in the first terminal examination so you can start uh, conversation between Raj and Karan here, and I want to tell you uh, the good news of my best friend. Raj is saying to Karan, oh, "What is the good news?" Then Raj, my friend Tom has scored a GPA of 4.0 in the final term examination. Then Karan, really, that's great news. I wish him many congratulations on this achievement. Raj, mine too. So this is the way of uh, making a conversation and uh, uh, giving congratulation. Okay, on uh, many situation. your uncle and aunt have got a new baby girl again conversation between raj and rohan hello rohan i want to tell you some good news about my family rohan okay tell me what's that again a new baby girl, girl has come into my uncle's family rohan oh, oh that's good news and i wish them many heart heartfelt congratulation so here are many expression students that you can use and uh, i am not going to read all the answer of this solution you just need to pause the video first and then you can write from here with your students i move to the next exercise today we have grammar part first in grammar part first one is choose the correct preposition and complete the sentence again we are going to use the preposition here the first one a when did you reach school b 
I reach some time dot dot nine nine to nine fifty a.m. So here we are going to talk about uh, nine to nine fifty a.m. means between is the right preposition here we use between nine p.m. to nine to nine fifty p.m. B number I usually stay in my office again from ten a.m. to four a.m. You should finish your test in next thirty minutes. Nor Nur walked in the hostel until. 2010 i have been looking for my spectacles you know i don't remember where i kept i have been looking for so whenever you are searching uh, something that you are looking something we can use we use for mr shai has uh, 10 members walking under him a g number there is a knock at the door kritika is in her 20s there is a great deal of violence of in country okay Again, their discussion turned into an unpleasant quarrel. Now, B number. Complete the sentences with in or at. Water boils at 100 degrees centigrade. And last year we went on a trip to national. Uh, it's a bot uh, botanical garden. Good hour from our school. And the C number. Can you turn the right light on, please? I don't want to sit in the dark. And D number. He was married at young at of 20. Science and technology has developed at a great pace. Again, F. In my opinion, violence films should be banned from children. And I number I heard the news on the radio. My father is at home. Okay, at that moment. It's all about your grammar part. Uh, now move to the its writing part here. So in writing part, students, we have exercise that is uh, imagine that your school football team has won the title of inter school football tournament. Organized by the district sports development committee, write a message of congratulation to. Again, you have to write a message of congratulation to your team at, on behalf of the school. Okay, to appear on the not school notice board, use the clue given. This is the clue given here. Feeling happy, proud, hard work, dedication of the team, trophy and cash prize. Congratulation. This is all you can use as a clue here. So I have written the answer. Okay, and uh, of this one, here is the answer. We express heartiest congratulations to your school football team on winning the winner uh, football tournament organized by Deep Jyoti School you know, Club. We are really happy and proud of our efforts. So this is how you can use in writing by using this clue. So you just need to pause the video and you can write from there. I move to the next exercise. Your material uncle, uh, sorry, it's the maternal uncle has uh, recently been promoted to the post of Inspector of Nepal Police. Again, your uncle got uh, promoted. Uh, To the post of inspector of Nepal Police, then you have to write a congratulation letter for him. So you know uh, to wish your best wishes. You know, so this is uh, how you can write. I have written. Have a look at the answer of this question. Okay, here is the answer of this. Uh, B number is Kolpur Banke is the address of mine and my dear uncle. You can start with my dear uncle. I am fine here. Hope you are doing great. Having heard the great news of your recent promotion of the post of inspector of Nepal Police, made me delighted. You just need to express your happiness also first. You know, then you have to uh, start to giving congratulation for their achievement, and then uh, some expectation also from him. Uh, then you can mention, and finally you can say, I again congratulate on your great achievement, and you may continue this success in your coming day. So finally you can write your. Name also you are loving R K English, so it's all about your exercises uh, of all these uh, exercises of this unit students. Uh, with that, I come to an end of today's class here. We will discuss uh, more and more exercise and uh, unit and text explanation in next videos, in the coming videos. Till then, students keep watching my videos. See you in the next one. Have a good day, my dear students.